Hi there guys, Ken here, your Thrifty Apprentice, and welcome back to the studio, guys. It, um, it's been a minute. Last video I put up, I believe, was in September, and then I had to take a little hiatus. Life had to be put together, and now here I am. Um, I needed something to just kind of kick me off and kind of boot me, jump charge me back into the spirit of things, and lo and behold, I'm walking through joanne's today and i run across some things that really inspired me to like okay i want to try that i want to really get back into testing things out so here i am i'm going to do just a really really short small budget art haul video with you guys uh, and then i'm going to jump off of this video right into shooting some other ones with some paint tutorials and watercolor pencils and all those good fun things so I got all of this from a couple of different places, but the thing that really made me want to do this video and to just get back on the bandwagon was a few months ago, before I actually made the transition here to Texas, which was back in August. I want to say this may have been maybe June, the end of June, beginning of July. I was doing some research on some new um, art companies that I kind of wanted to test their products out. And one of those companies was King Arts. And back at that time, I ordered some King Arts. I think it's watercolor pencils. Maybe watercolor pencils and colored pencils, actually. Uh, I don't know. I have to go through my stash. And I'm going to eventually get the review, reviewing, using and reviewing those as well. But I ran across um, in Joann's, their King Art Studio, which if I'm not mistaken, the studio, they have a studio and a pro. So I'm assuming that the studio is to target student. It's a student grade market. Um, I'm not exactly sure about that. I'm gonna do some more research before I actually do a review on the brand. But this is the Studio King Art 12 milliliter watercolor paint set. And I had a 40% off coupon. The paint set was only $9.99. So 40% off, I went on and brought it to the house. Of course, I've done a review on Master's Touch um, by Hobby Lobby watercolor pencils. Um, I've done a review on their watercolor paints and I'm a pretty big fan of both of them as far as a craft brand goes. So I did go ahead and stop in Hobby Lobby and pick up um, a 24 count of the gouache paint set because I want to give it a, a I wanted to give it a try out. I brought it onto the house. I pop open the box and I've already dried them down into a little travel palette here. And as you can see, they did crack upon drying, but it's gouache, so I expected that. That's why I have them in sort of like this air seal or airtight little palette. So I'm gonna give those a try. And I also picked up stamps from different places. I did notice, cause I visited Michael's, Hobby Lobby, as well as Joann's. And I did notice that their stamp sections <clears throat> are not, there, not that full right now. And I'm assuming it's because of being able to restock the shelves during the pandemic with um, a bunch of the craft suppliers that were actually producing the stamps and making them. And then I also noticed that the stamps that they did have in stock were on sale, like dramatically on sale. And it was not my intentions to buy stamps, but between the three stores, I was like, well, actually between two stores, cause only the paints, if I'm not mistaken, came from Joann's, but that's not the here nor there. Um, I got a couple of cool stamps. I got this Paris stamp, um, <clears throat> which I think is gonna be really beautiful when stamped down. It was on sale for a dollar and 49 cent. Um, as you can see, it was regularly priced $5.99. So that was really good. <clears throat> That one came from Michael's. Okay, so this stamp came from Joann's as well. <clears throat> Joann's is running a 40% sale on their stamps. I got this one today. Um, so I bought this. This is the other product that I bought with those paints. But I thought it was a really beautiful kind of like globe stamp that was gonna be really nice, especially for covering large areas. So I'm really excited about some car making. That was 40% off of the $9.99 that it originally was. So I think it was only like maybe six bucks. This stamp was on, that one came from Michaels, if I'm not mistaken. I think 
all of those came from Michael's. So I'm gonna show you those for a second. This was another Hobby Lobby, which I got for $1.49, seeing originally priced $5.99. This is their Bo Bunny Steampunk stamp set. Um, love that, love that thing. I think that's gonna come in handy with a lot of the other stamps that I have. Um, there was this Inka Dinka Do kind of steampunk theme stamp set that was originally $10. It was on sale for $2.49. Those are gonna marry together really well. Went on to pick those up. <clears throat> and then there was this kind of larger pack of flowers um, and different flowers with ribbons and just little branches and leaves. And originally $3.99 by Kelly Creates was on sale for 99 cents. So I picked up that entire pack, which inspired me to do another video, which is gonna be a car creation video coming up really soon. Um, from Michael's, I picked up all of these and nothing cost more than $5.99. I can't remember individual prices for each one of them, but the stamps are nice. I sort of got this silhouette of this deer in the woods, birds in the trees, really nice. Um, roses. I'm sort of building a rose stamp collection without really even thinking about it. So this is gonna be a part of the car creation video idea I have coming up. Um, there was this really nice rooster. I thought that'd be really cute on a car, um, maybe like Father's Day or something. And then there's this one of the aisle. And as you can see, it has like these little um, flowers and scenery in it so really nice just kind of want to share that with you guys i mean all of this i paid no more than like a total of about 30 bucks for all of these products together so it was a really good buy um really good haul especially nowadays when i'm really on a budget and i'm really trying to watch um, everything, every dime that I spend, I think I found some really nice pieces to add and expand the art collection. And now you know where they are and that they're on sale. So if you're interested, you can run out and grab you one too as well. Now I am going to be reviewing the paint sets and we're going to be using the stamps coming up in video soon. So stay tuned and thank you guys so much for joining me back here at the studio. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys really soon again. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Sharing is caring, and it's going to help the community grow. Don't forget to head over to Facebook and check us out there at the Thrifty Apprentice Facebook page, as well as on Instagram. And as I tell you guys at the end of every video, and I'll never stop telling you, just keep painting.